Okay. He's looking at me as I'm driving off. You know, the voices in my head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering your name. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Buckle up. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has... Let's try that again. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been altered for entertainment purposes. There are thousands of missing reports filed each year in the U.S. National Parks. Many cases remain unexplained. And I'm assuming that last thing said individual names are changed. You are a wannabe aspiring reporter looking into missing hikers. It was time to get serious about your career. You applied for a job as a forest ranger to get first-hand accounts of the disappearances. Okay, so... I like the way this looks first off, but... As someone who... The fuck is that? Um, as somebody who is a slow... Holy atmosphere. Um, as somebody who is a slow reader... The first part sucked. Well, let's follow our path and see what lies ahead of for us here in this foggy forest area. Surely not a jump scare. Oh, there's a pig. Dying? Or is it a boar man? Or are they dealing with a cult? A cult or a boar man? aliens whoa it's a naked or empty face man static but hey there night crawlers you're locked in with station five where the news takes a walk on the wild side i'm your man in the shadows mike stone have you guys heard about these missing hikers all over our national parks I can drive it. This apparently. isn't something you hear about anymore. Okay. But check out these stats. Oh, fixing or run someone over? According to the latest data from the National <laughs> Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports of missing people. The numbers are massive. I've got a few examples here. One hiker found after days in the woods, couldn't recall basic details about their hike or how they got lost. Hmm. Railroad tracks. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of uh, acute paranoia are claiming they were being watched by unseen uh, entities among the trees. I'm assuming we need to pull in here to the quick and go. Um, this gas station asset, though, I have seen in another game. Not necessarily the quick and go, but at least that tank back there. Okay, so we're here at the quick and go. Yeah, this right here I have seen somewhere else. I guess I don't have a flashlight, though. Let's check in. What are you looking for, dude? You're just like... I gotta find just a hot one. It's in there somewhere. It's waiting for me. Oh, need that. I can't rip a rock that. That yellow one. Okay. Uh, you got some broad-ass sho- What is that? You got some broad-ass shoulders. Dude. Evening. What can I get you? Um, I'm just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger Another in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What the hell is that? There's a new to be? guy here just about every other month. Well, I picked the right career. <laughs> Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. I mean, I guess so. Okay, well, I think you'd be great here for this job with your broad shoulders. I bet you could strangle a bear with those bitches. Um, I don't know what supplies I'm supposed to get. Some 2% milk that's just sitting out on the shelf, not getting cold. Here's the icebox. So why is it not in there? Really cool, not icebox. Okay, I guess we're not going to get anything. Oh, 
I'm assuming this was our car. 79 cents for gas? Whew, I wish. Okay. Recent reports from the search and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental condition. We're talking about disorientation, uh, memory loss, and in some cases, ha, bizarre behavior uh, that leaves rescuers and medical oh, professionals baffled. Oh. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You I'm got going experienced backwards. hikers, um, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks and they find absolutely nothing. Now that's a staggering figure. And it's got us wondering what exactly. I did something wrong. Okay, I guess we're stopping here again. Oh, the guy's gone. Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? You look even more intimidating now. Oh. That was not like that a second New ago. New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks, you'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me out with some directions? Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods. Swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Uh... Been here a while. Seen the faces change. Rangers like you. Their stories rearrange. Something in these woods. Something strange. Okay, so... Am I playing as multiple different rangers here? Like, did I play as that one who just talked to you and then... I guess Good he Good luck, ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Okay, well, thank you with that. This is some weird shit that's going on over here, so let's take a look. A suitcase with documents about missing people. What do you want to talk about, sir? Looks like something you're looking for is missing. You don't say. So do I just get in my car and go? Is he looking at me? I can't tell. Yes. Ew. Why do you gotta look at me while I'm leaving, fucking weirdo? I don't like that at all. Okay. He's looking at me as I'm driving you off. You know, the voices in my head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering your name. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> There's this hiker when the search and rescue teams fall. You laughing at me because I got scared? How'd you even know? And what in the shit? The hiker with Mesated and Ragged had resorted to desperate measures. The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own fingers, chewed and gnawed in a desperate bid for sustenance. Wow. This sucker just he, he ate his own fingers. The must have been out of his mind. It's your turn now. You will never get out of these woods. You will never get out of these woods, apparently. Um, so, sir, I think you need to start a podcast. <laughs> with how weird and creepy you are. Especially with the weird ass, like, pitch changes and all that. Shit's damn good. Okay, let's see what our dude's in here since he just hopped out in front of me earlier. What are you in doing? In shadows deep where trees entwine, a mystery unfolds, a tale malign through tangled woods where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more. Answer the call on the forest breeze. Nope. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost where the shadows align.
Well, are you going to pick it up? I would rather not, Mr. Broadshoulder. Okay. Let's answer the phone. Hello? Uh, who is this? What? Oh. We're actually up here now. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. This looks really nice. Um, anyone there? Oh. Oh. Tower sex. Do you read me? Over. I read so, you. How was your first night? So it was a nightmare. Uh, it was pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. I had quite a fucking um, creepy nightmare. Tell you creepy stories on your first day. So that Actually, was made up no. right? One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Uh, yeah. It's really fucking weird. I was walking my dog buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about half an hour or so. Suddenly, I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground, just out of the corner of my eye, oh, I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. Oh, so that's why we were... Okay. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freak out a little bit and quickly start to make my way back on the same path I got there. I stop and look around for Buddy. As I turn back to continue home, right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. I have not been down that path since. Okay. Interesting. So, I really like this. I really like the idea about this game. Um, now, one thing I will say is so... Whenever the game starts, you're playing as the actual hiker. So from there, it starts building the atmosphere and it builds the tension with you running into the guy. I like that a lot. And then it switches to you're the forest ranger who's apparently having the nightmare about his first day, apparently. Um, all of that is great in the looping and the different scenes at the gas station. That was also really cool. The deal the radio was super creepy also, but... Um, I'm not, like, I get this is the pilot episode, but at the end, where it just gave us an entire description, why didn't we go back and play as the hiker again for that end part? Because I feel like that would have done a lot more, a lot more for me personally than just sitting there reading the text like a story. Um, but, yeah, aside, for, aside from that little complaint, I really enjoyed this game, and... Hopefully, other other episodes of this get made and they connect, because that will be really interesting. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.